What's up everyone, Marcus Burdick here. How you doing today? You already know what you're doing here, tuning in to start your week off right, start your week off rest. You can dominate the rest of the week and the ones that are just tuning in that never have been part of this series or this channel. Welcome. You're going to start tuning in every Monday to start your week off right as well. First things first, we don't got coffee. We gotta go get some. Whoa. And we're back. Let's get back to it. So what I want to be talking to you guys today about on your Monday, because you're starting your week off right, you should be doing your gratitude list, you should be doing your list of accomplishments, all of that stuff, staying positive. If you're staying tuned to what we've been doing on Mondays, you already know what's going on. But what I want to talk to you guys specifically about today is what you have in your life. Now, obviously, I don't have to talk about what's going on in the world today. You see it everywhere on the news, on social media. It's everywhere. It's blowing up. We all know it. Toilet paper's being sold out. Everything's being sold out. Stay positive, guys. Just try your best to stay positive and be thankful for what you have because there are people out there that don't have the luxury that you have to go out and buy things in bulk. There are people that don't have the ability to travel to stores to grab the necessary items that they need to continue living their day-to-day -day life, especially in the current situation with what's happening. It makes it really, really difficult for the ones in need and they don't have that ability. So if you have that ability, be thankful for what you have in your life. Be thankful that you have the ability to go out and grab food, grab groceries, even as simple as grabbing toilet paper. And if you have the ability to do this, why not give back as well? Give back to your local food banks, to your local charities if you can. If you have the ability right now to grab toilet paper, if it is there that is, but if you find yourself and there's toilet paper there because it's being sold out everywhere, grab an extra one and donate it to your local charity. They could use it as well because there are other people that don't have what you currently do. Also, be super thankful with what's going on in your life. You're so, you're so lucky that you still have your family, your friends, your loved ones around you, that you're a healthy individual. Be a very positive influence on others and maintain your positivity throughout your day. So start your day and start your week off right maintaining a positive outlook. Instead of viewing all the negative, which is extremely easy to do as of right now because it's everywhere on the news, everywhere on social media, stay positive. If you find yourself buying groceries and you're in line for an hour, instead of looking at that being pissed off that you're stuck in line for an hour, why don't you look at it from the other side knowing that you have the ability to stay in line for an hour because you can buy those groceries. There are people out there right now that don't know where they're gonna be getting their food from. Think about that, it's, it's kinda of harsh, isn't it? I'm not trying to be negative here, I'm just trying to give you a different perspective, trying to open your eyes a little bit to show you that there is still a lot of positive things, positive aspects throughout the world, but we're just choosing to associate ourselves with more of the negative because that's what we're being exposed to on a day-to-day -day basis in the current situation that we're in. Look at what you have in your life and as, as cheesy as it sounds, be grateful for what you have. Show the gratitude towards your friends and family. How, how lucky are you that you have a vehicle to drive to get you from point A to point B? You might have to take city transit if you didn't have that vehicle. And that might be something that could take you 20 minutes, might take you an hour and a half on city transit. Right there alone is something to be positive about. This week, that's what we're focusing on. Maintaining your positive outlook. Maintaining that positive positivity and seeing the good, seeing what we have. And be positive towards others. If you have the ability to help someone out, please, by all means, do that. Help somebody else. If you know that that will benefit them and that can and will help them tomorrow and in the future, then by all means do so. Now, what I'm saying is I'm not asking you to bend over backwards for people. What I'm asking you to do, especially in what's going on right now, is if you're buying canned food for yourself because you're stocking up, 
buy a little bit more, not for yourself, but for the local charities, for the local food banks, because those people still need it as well. They're humans as well. We all need it at the end of the day. If you have the ability to help someone out, then please help them out. And I want you to ask yourself this. If it was a loved one, you would do absolutely anything to make sure that you could help them out. So what's the difference between it being a loved one and someone that you don't know? The only difference is they're not related to you. You should be able to help someone out that you don't know. And that's why I say if you can and you have the ability to, please donate to your local food banks, to your local charities that currently need the help. Even if you don't have the ability to donate because money might be tight, you can still go to your local drop-in shelters and still volunteer. You can still do other things that are gonna give back to the community and give back to individuals that need it right now. It is very hard to maintain a positive outlook at the beginning because it is something new. It is not what you're used to doing. So if you can break past that, find yourself you know those little triggers when you start noticing you're getting a little bit more negative a little bit more angry or pissed off try to flip back to what you have what you currently are able to do that's going to be able to help you a lot in the long run it personally it helped me when i started my journey and honestly i think it's going to help you guys a lot what's up everybody clearly i lost the end footage so if you got anything from this content Give us a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers we get, the sooner we can get content out to you guys. As well, go in the comment section, leave a comment if you have any ideas that you wanna see on the channel or you can go into the description box and you can see where you can contact us as well. Hopefully you guys are gonna have an amazing week and dominate your Monday. Rock. Thumbs up, leave a, Pushed all over the globe right now with all the negativity. Boom. Lost it. Damn it. That you can be. I was on a roll, man. I was on a roll. I was I was getting there. I just lost it. Damn. Damn. Any additional if you were a lot of negativity in the world right now. It's a lot easier to get trapped in by the negativity and be drawn to it because let's be honest, people love drama. People love to hear things that are going on. Hence why we have reality TV. What's up everybody, Marcus? What's up everybody? Marcus Burke. Today's gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode, but thank you once again for tuning in. If you guys got anything, 